Hi, my name's Suzanne and I work with SEAI. In this video, we're going to be looking at releasing stored energy. I'm going to show you an experiment that you can do at home and we're going to create carbon dioxide gas. So this gas is produced when we burn fossil fuels, which we use to power our cars and our home. So we're going to take a balloon and we're going to pop it on the end of the funnel, like so. We're going to need about seven teaspoons of baking soda um, and this is going to act as our base. So we can pop this to the side and then the next thing we're going to do is pop some vinegar into our, into our plastic bottle. So this is going to be our acid. Now, so this bit you have to be pretty careful with. You've got to try and get the end of the balloon over the bottle without spilling into it. So there we go. And then what we can do is release our base into the acid and we're going to see a chemical reaction. What do you think is going to happen to our balloon? As you can see, the balloon is self-inflating. So that is because the gas is being produced in the reaction and that is inflating the balloon for us. So sometimes they get pretty big. <laughs> and we can see the bubbles rising in the bottle and this means that the chemical reaction is happening and we're releasing that stored energy. So we can see our balloon's getting bigger. <laughs> So, what gas do you think is in this balloon? Do you think it's air? Well, it's actually carbon dioxide, which is created when we mix the, the acid and the base. So, in the bottle, we now have carbonic acid, which is a mixture between the carbon dioxide and water. As we said earlier, carbon dioxide is a gas that is produced when we burn fossil fuels, which we use to power our cars and our homes. Burning fossil fuels causes climate change. Have a discussion in your classroom about climate change. Are there any actions you can take to save energy in your homes and schools?